welcome back to easy spirit 101 i hope you guys are having a great day thank you for being here thank you for watching we'll see what y'all need to know at this time what do y'all need to know at the time you see this video I feel like somebody somebody's going backwards like quite literally adventure in reverse it's you're someone who's maybe even taking the steps to go in a positive new direction or you're being guided to but you have fallen back into some old cycle specifically when it comes to projecting make sure you're staying very focused self-focused at this time or this could be someone who's knocked you off of your new path through doing this with you. Someone's projecting their feelings onto you. They're, they're kind of making their stuff feel like your stuff. Sometimes the answer in this sort of situation really is to move on from an individual because not everybody is in a place to change. Not everybody is on the same level of like growth and change and direction a lot of times you can even be in a relationship and not really realize that you and this person don't totally have the same goals in mind because it was never brought up it was never discussed um you could be involved with someone who you're really not on the same page with like you thought you were uh and this person could be blocking your forward movement blocking your creativity I don't know why I get the feeling like someone wants to reach out to someone for help someone in this situation and they're not doing it Honestly, I feel like in this energy, this is you, but it really has to do with holding back. It has to do with protecting yourself, putting some sort of protective barrier around yourself in this situation. And it's really out of like fear of looking wrong, fear of looking like you messed up, looking like you made a mistake. So someone here is holding back in a situation where they should not be holding back. Yeah, you're not you're not listening to your inner voice. Again, it's like someone here, you're like, I want, I want to ask someone for help. I want to talk to someone outside of this situation about this, but I'm afraid to. Some of you even need to, in that case, just connect with your make time to sit in prayer make time to sit there and connect with your spirit team i also feel like this energy can be dual purpose here this energy can also represent this other person who's projecting on you again there's something here you and this person do not have the same goals and interests at heart it's not just in mind. It's where your in intentions lie. You don't have the same goals. You don't have the same dream and vision in your heart. Yeah, it's time for you to step outside of this situation. Step out. And also, you need to look at this person and look at this perspective from, from outside of your... Again, someone here might needs to talk to someone outside of this situation, get a, like a third party perspective, maybe go talk to a counselor or, um, your trusted friend who's very, you know, non-judgmental. They, they have a very even perspective over things. Someone here needs to take another look at the situation that they're in. They take another look at some sort of relationship they're involved in. This person is blocking your forward movement. This person is blocking some sort of path that you're meant to be on. Mostly by 
making you feel, and I feel like I, I'm talking to someone who's just very sensitive. Um, you could even be Pisces or have a strong Pisces placement. Or you're like, have a, you're, you're a water sign, heavy water sign placement. You're someone who's very sensitive and you're very absorbent to the other energies and feelings around you. And that is what this person is doing here. They're, they're putting you in this place. Um, and I don't know why I feel like tables have turned and maybe this started out by this person was listening to how you feel about something. And now the tables have turned and you find yourself constantly listening to how this person, this person is like dumping on you at this point. Now you're always listening to how this person feels about something that was really meant to be about you. There could be arguments or disagreements because of another person being involved in a situation or because they're, this could be any kind of third party energy here. We did uh, get these two cards out, these two cards out at the same time here. There could be disagreements or something. Again, you're being guided to trust your inner voice, your inner wisdom on a situation. Someone here is holding you back by putting you like in this cloud of their own energy, making you feel like it's your fault that you guys are not a team anymore. This person's doing something to like constantly... I just saw 655. If you've been seeing 555 or 55, please pay attention. This is this change here. This is this new adventure, this new opening that you're meant to walk through. This other individual is making you feel like you are the reason why something is not working out and causing you to um, take all your time and energy away from the new beginning you're meant to have and put it directly on to just as I just as I'm saying this I hear like a crow or something is just crazy going off out my window someone here is like very they're talking a lot of negativity into you knowing that you will absorb it or, or in some cases, unknowingly, but you're, you're putting yourself kind of in a, um, a vicious cycle or a loop with an individual who's always going to spend more time feeling like they put in some kind of work just because they dumped all their stuff on you and made you listen to it and made you absorb it and made you apologize for something that wasn't even your fault. That's not exactly putting in the work. Um, and this, we are the world in reverse. This person keeps putting it on you that you are the reason why you guys are no longer, um, working as a team or why you don't feel unity between yourselves or your family anymore. If there is a situation you are in, nothing is ever all one person's fault. Um, and on the healthier end of this, in a, in a case where, say a relationship is coming to a, a place where you know it's not meant to go forward any further together. Both parties can honestly look at each other and say, you know, I understand. I've made some changes. You've made some changes. We're not looking in the same direction anymore. We've known each other a long time. We're two different people now. You can release individuals. You can release people in a loving way without it being some finger pointing battle and the more that it is a finger pointing battle especially if you're always at the other end this this is part of what is like a telltale sign something something's not right something's not working this is not the um healthiest scenario for you to be in because someone who does that can do that their entire life. They will just continue to do that in more and more relationships. Even these patterns, I don't know, there's some kind of, um, again, there's like a third party energy going on here. 
there's arguments about other individuals involved. I don't know if that's in a romantic sense or if that's just like some sort of friend interfering. But by the time there's like lack of trust, let's say this person is or has stepped out on a relationship and they are being dishonest about it, or they even are being honest about it. That person has these patterns. This person constantly projects their feelings on other people. They never turn inward and do the work. They never see themselves in unity with others. And they will continue to do this, this kind of pattern. You are being asked to move beyond and realize that you have outgrown this situation. Yeah, you have outgrown this situation. You are meant to be okay being alone. I just saw 1111 on the clock. If you've been seeing that a lot, you might be getting close or this message is for you. That can sometimes be a clarifier, a sign that whatever you're working on or whatever you're hearing within your inner voice or your inner vision at this time is the correct direction. So definitely pay attention to that. Let's see what else, what else, what else? Yeah, I see stagnation on the bottom. You are stagnating moving forward because you already have learned this lesson and maybe went backwards or something like this here. also feel like part of how you can energetically remove yourself from this situation is by um tuning tuning this out i don't know why this there's such a strong energy coming off of this card right now that like this is going on constantly like you're constantly like you go home let's say you get home from work say this is your partner and you get home from work and the minute you walk through the door, the whole energy, there's like a cloud of this person and how they feel and who they are and what's going on. Everything's all about this person. Part of how you can energetically move on and remove yourself from this situation where there's like a lot of clashing, where there's a lot of um, diminishing another individual is by celebrating yourself staying really high focused on yourself celebrating you who you are this person's not giving you any kind of um respect is one thing i'm hearing this person's not respecting you for one thing and this person's not giving you the kind of attention that you should give to your your partner there's like an imbalance here so part of how you can energetically heal from this and move on from this is by giving that energy to yourself at this time. Everything that this person should be giving you in a partnership, give it to yourself until you have figured out how to close this cycle, make this maneuver. You are protected. Whatever you do at this time and whatever you need to do, especially as it's in alignment with where you're supposed to go, you are protected in doing so. Yeah, there's something here about the vision. Like you have a specific vision in your mind or in your heart. And you are meant to be listening to that at this time. I'm saying that because I just saw it again. I saw the vision again. What else does the Vine Collective need to know? Yeah, intuition. They're like yelling at you. And I don't know why I feel like I'm really talking to a um, water sign here. And they really want you to pay attention to your intuition and listen to your intuition. This is fortune in reverse. Yeah, because on the other side of your new beginning is, is kind of um, 
I'm not going to say like a great fortune, but like your blessings are on the other side of overcoming, moving away, moving away from something here. Some of you are afraid to go forward with someone, something or someone, some situation, this person, you could be married to this individual. And that's why you're afraid to go through, like you don't want to go through some sort of divorce. Yeah. Endurance, change, death. Someone here is afraid for some of you, not for all of you. Someone here is literally afraid to go through a divorce, but in some cases, that is how it, it happens. I'm, I'm not condoning that in any way. I wouldn't sit here and, and tell everybody to go get divorced. You know, that's, that's not my place. I'm just reading what's coming through here. Um, if you feel like you need extra counseling, extra uh, confirmation or whatever it is, make sure you get into prayer, make sure you get legal advice, mental health advice, uh, whatever, whatever it is, you need family counseling, whatever it is, do what you need to do, but you are protected. And unfortunately, in some cases, when we are in our lowest version of ourself, um, we have met an individual from a toxic, unhealthy place. And then as we heal, this person probably even helped you heal. And there's love there because of that. Um, but it's also no longer aligned with you and in some cases has become toxic, especially if you had toxic habits when you started with this person and that's part of how you bonded, but you've grown out of these habits and that person's still in these habits. In some cases, it happens that way. It turns into that. It becomes necessary. That's funny. This reunion's coming out under um, fortune in reverse. So maybe you felt like you were having some sort of positive or exciting reunion, but it's not turning out the way you had hoped or thought. And again, you're meant to go through. Yeah, it's like it's like some someone thought they were avoiding some sort of uncomfortable tower here, but now the tower is gonna feel even more intense. The tower will feel even more intense the longer you hold on. Basically, if this person has been hurting you for a long period of time and you feel like, you know, they, they sold you a dream and everything was exciting and happy and butterflies for a minute. Um, and then very quickly, like the fairy tale was over and this person was this person has not changed. You have changed. This person has not changed. This person is just acting like they've changed. And now they've got you under their thumb again. It's part of what I'm getting is going on. Such a graphic card. But um, you and this person, you and this person could have family. This person might even be like, threatening you in regards to the family or your children or something here. I really get a strong feeling. I've been getting this strong feeling coming through of like, um, whatever they, they say is gaslighting. Like someone in this situation is very much, you know, keeping you stuck somehow by making you scared, like using you, using fear to try and prevent you to, um, m prevent you from moving on from this person. I just saw a nine, nine, nine. That's, that is spirit knocking on the door. It's time to wrap this up and you are protected. You are absolutely protected. Why do we have publicity? Why do we have publicity here? Mind power. This is giving me some sort of communication, whether it's, whether it's a 
document or something. Something is about to be made aware. Something, something that you're not sure about, maybe, or you're gonna think of some sort of new way or receive some sort of new new message of how to do this. Again, something about August. We keep getting something. Something's going on this week. Not this week, or for some of you this week, something's going on. Something new is changing this month. Yeah, something you had invested in is going to need to be rene renegotiated. For some of you, some of you, this has to do with moving on from something that has been long standing, like it's been this way a long time, and it feels it's a very strange and unexpected change. But you are going to be able to get through this. I say protection because I saw the protection card. The first thing I saw was a protection card. Some of you are afraid about like the turbulent changes that are ahead because of this. But again, you are protected. You are absolutely protected. As long as you're going in the direction that you're meant to be going, Regardless of who you are and what this situation is, if it's a job, if it's a relationship, if it's your family, if it's a friendship, um, whatever, it's, it's just some place you keep going. If it's making you unhealthy, it's making you repeatedly unhappy. It's, it's dragging your energy down. It's just, it's starting to feel like a ton of bricks on your shoulders. You know, like maybe you don't even look forward to going home anymore. Maybe it gets so bad that you don't go home anymore. You're sitting in a car somewhere, avoiding going home. These are like, these are baby towers that build up. That is the tower card. These are these warnings that let you know of something that is meant to change, that has to change. Let's use the example of a marriage. In a marriage, when things get like that, you absolutely, I'm, I'm all for, um, try every single thing you and your partner can try everything you can to, to work on it. But in some cases, somebody is not, somebody might not be actually putting in any change, putting in real work. And then maybe you are, and that right there is the time that that is the universe conspiring to tell you it's time to move on from something you've outgrown a situation and that's okay change is meant to happen along this journey something here about your health it could be for whatever you're co going through, because I see a lot of changes coming in the fall and the winter time. And it could be unexpected. This could be a lot of like shaky changes, unexpected changes. The key here with the, the health and the upright, for one thing, this is going to be like a blessing in disguise. And it has something to do with your health. But also as you're very mindful of your health and your well-being through whatever difficulties come along, you're going to be just fine. I feel like this is very important for you to know specifically for whoever this is for, because yeah, something here needs to be rebalanced. This change, this shift is going to put you back on your correct course. Um, and again, eight, that will, that's where your blessings are on the other side of this change. Um, it's very important that you know about this because I feel like whoever this person is, that keeps projecting on you that is, you know, gaslighting you or whatever. Um, they're using that against you. They're using something to do with your health and well being against you. So it's very important to know at the end of the day that you, you, when all else fails, even if you don't feel like your, your, your faith system is super 
uh, rock solid at the time, as long as you turn, turn towards yourself and you like hold yourself as, as if you were holding a baby, very protective, you, you, someone here needs to like block out. I'm talking to someone who needs to kind of put, put a shield or a barrier around your energy at this time. You have the capability of taking good care of yourself as if you were your own child. Someone here may need, even need to work on some sort of inner child, like healing, self-love, that kind of thing. As long as you are like holding yourself very, very carefully, um, like you're a precious jewel, this person cannot break you. Nothing can break you because that energy equates the same thing that God, that spirit is trying to do over you and for you. Anyway, I just saw 555 five, five again. Someone here is really being guided to um, be very brave about something and take some sort of change or, or lead or shift that you know you need to do management in reverse. I just said lead like you, you're meant to lead your family or yourself or something out of a situation. And I'm really getting like fear, like you're afraid to, you are and you aren't. But part of the reason you aren't is because this person is using certain tactics to make you feel afraid. You don't have to be afraid. You really don't. You're going to be okay. No, if you've made it this far, no matter what, you're going to be okay. What else does the Divine Collective need to know? Yeah, for some of you, this change is hard because it, it causes a lot of um, like emotional feelings within you. This could represent the person that you're dealing with. Either you feel, either you're so overwhelmed with your emotions between having to let go of a situation, even though you know it doesn't serve you anymore, or maybe this person is saying that they're in this energy. I really feel like it's you. I feel like it's you that you're overwhelmed by your emotions. But at the end of the day, I don't know why I'm really drawn to this eyes. I know it's super common, but I've Someone here has brown eyes, obviously. Maybe you and this person both have brown eyes. That is a com super common eye color, but still, I don't know. I'm super, like, drawn to this eye. Or again, this person is, like, using emotions to keep you stuck. But you will, you are meant to be playing a different role. You are meant to be, like, taking leadership over a situation at this time. Here it is again, new opportunities, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up on the other side of this. Some of you, I keep seeing 222, 22, 22. Some of you have a um, divinely guided partnership on the other side of this situation. The finger is pointing um, in between the emotions and in between the opportunities. So for some of you, it could be the emotions that you're feeling, strong emotions are contributing to keeping you stuck in a situation that is not for you anymore. It might be a good idea to, you know, do some journaling or something, get out as much of it as you can to get yourself into that place, wherever, whatever times in your life that you've had to tap into your strength. And just be that lion in a situation. You might need to become that lion to get through whatever this is, especially this here. This here, for some of you, some of you, part of why it's keeping you stuck is because you and maybe your karmic, your karmic partner or your potential, you know, you've got a relationship here that hasn't been working for a long time. Maybe you and this individual have spoken about possibly getting a divorce before and it keeps getting shoved aside. It's like you and this person are both afraid to go in that direction. 
but you don't need to be afraid of it. Do not be afraid. Grapes, again, There's this is like these positive opportunities and abundance. On the other side of this is like freedom and fun. Yeah, there's something here about some sort of communication coming in. Maybe someone's waiting for something. Maybe you're like waiting for a sign from spirit or something like this. This is this could be a sign for you. This if this is confirmation for you, this is your sign to to get moving. They they have things that they want you to be a part of. For some of you, again, there's this is involving a marriage, but on the other side of this could be the person you're meant to be with again there's there's some sort of more like more aligned partnership waiting for you yeah someone who wants to compliment you someone who wants to bring you flowers someone who's going to admire you i feel like this person you've been dealing with maybe pretends to do that but really they don't there's a heavy energy of something always turning back around on them I just saw 3113, so that's very much like a karmic karmic um, lesson here, karmic relationship, new home, new attitude. This is part of something coming for you. Let's see, I'm going to get you some final, final, if this is for you, what you need to know about this situation. What advice here? What advice do you have for Divine Collective, please? What advice? Go, go for it. Go for it. This is your sign. You don't need to wait for some sort of message or some sort of something to drop down from the sky. They're saying that if this whole reading has resonated with you, like I was reading, like I've been, I can see inside your life. <laughs> That this is your sign. This is them telling you that we see what's going on with you. We're aware. We've heard your prayers. We see this um, struggle in this situation. And this is what we have to say about it. Go for it. You are safe. You are protected. I'm telling you, some of you on the other side of this leap, I'm... I don't know why I'm getting, uh, it's possible I'm talking to someone who this is what you care about more than anything. You, and that's good. Love, love is, you can take love out of this place when we're done here. You cannot take your money. You cannot take your car. You can't take your house or any of that stuff. But you can take, you know, this here. Someone like marriage is super important to you. And this person you're dealing with has had you in a very rocky, on, on very rocky ground for a long time, very unhealthy, very unhappy. Um, but you're, it's very difficult for you to leave this individual. Again, on the other side of this is someone who's truly like, they're cut for you. You and this person are, I just saw three, three, three. If you've been seeing that, that's another confirmation for you. The person, someone here that you're meant to be with. This is a mutual respect. This other individual coming in on the other side of this leap of faith you need to take. Remember, you're supposed to get your strength out. You're, you're getting your lion out for this transition because it's so hard for you. On the other side of this, your blessing is someone who's going to admire you. Yeah release in reverse you are having trouble letting go of something maybe you're afraid that you're this person this person this karmic could even be trying to convince you that you're not going to meet somebody else that you're never going to be able to make it without them this person is putting a lot of fear into you and i don't know why i keep wanting to say they're they're trying to keep you distracted yeah you're lying get it get it and go wild go for it go for it stay focused on yourself at this time give talk to people who lift you up 
stay focused on people who lift you up at this time. This is, and this is coming with the whole package anyway. I feel like you're someone who you mostly care about this, but it's coming also with the whole package. Here we go again, under release and reverse, leave the past behind in reverse, okay? These are very obvious messages. One more. I'm telling you, you don't need to be worried. You don't need to be worried or afraid. Whatever this person is saying to you to keep you stuck with them, there is not the truth, okay? And you shouldn't be listening. I feel like at this point, you're listening more to that person than you are listening to God. If God says, I have someone who's really going to make you smile every day, he means it. Why wouldn't he want that for us? So if you're in a situation where another person is determined to to watch you wilt like a wilting flower it's not the right person for you you have it may have been the right person for you at one point but at this point you have outgrown this individual um if this reading helped you i i'm so i'm so glad i hope that it did other than that i hope you guys enjoyed the reading thank you again for being here i will see you all again next time have a wonderful weekend